Okay, guys, let's listen this story. Okay, there were a beautiful paddy field and a pond in a village. Can you see this picture? Can you observe the picture and tell who were the lived in this environment? Can you? Okay, tell. I know you are good. Uh, somebody started to telling. I can hear that. So, who is there on the branch? Okay, squirrel. Very good answer. Uh, you know, two are there in the water. Can you say? Now, one is in water. Who is? Frog. Not frog. Frog is not in water. On the leaf, right? The leaf on the water. Yes, that answer is right. That is fish. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, somebody are telling flowers are there on the water, leaves are there on the water, grasses are there on the water. Okay, I can understand. Very good observation. Ah, uh, can you tell me who is there on the land looking at the pond? Yes, turtles. Very good answer. Uh, somebody out there flying in the sky. Can you tell me? Who are there? Yeah, stark. And crows. Very good answer. That's fantastic. So, if we deeply observe the picture, what else we can see? What other things we can see there? Yeah. Yes, very good. There we can see a mountain. Ah, we can see soils, grasses. Yes. Yeah, a number of things. We, if, we, if we go through, observe deeply, we can understand many, many things. So, very good observation. So, here, here a story is going on. Can you look at the picture? The story I am going to tell you. Listen to me, okay? Uh, really, it is an interesting conversation between squirrel, fish, frog, and tortoise, okay? So, listen what they are talking about. Hey, squirrel, why don't you come down and play with me? <laughs> Imagine the squirrel's condition. If he gets into the water, oh! Hey, Macri Frog, are you kidding me? Are you teasing me? Can you climb a tree and jump along its branches like I do? Hey, friends, are you fighting? Why you are talking like this? Sorry, Squirrel, if you heard my words, you know I'm not. Uh, insulting you you know i'm really thinking the reality you know who can dive and turn in water like the fish you know friends come back to me how was the story how was the story conversation do you like it huh oh very good yeah very nice Okay, thank you for your good responses. So, you remember the conversation, last conversation, who made it? Frog, right? Yeah. So, what frog said the last? You remember? He made a statement about fish. You remember that? What he said? Dive and turn into the water. In the water, like the fish. Right? That was the frog said last we all know that fish is an expert in moving and turning and uh, swimming in water right but can i ask a question can a fish live or move on a land hmm? can you tell me simple question it is <laughs> right how it's never happened, right? Uh, do you like fish? How many of you like fish? 
Do you observe? Do you ever observe the fish? I'm sure that all of you observe the fish, right? Yeah. But I'm not sure how many of you observe it with very conscious. Very consciously, very interestingly, if you observe very interestingly, very consciously, we can understand many, many things. How many things? No, already. Can you tell? Hmm? Huh? You not observed. So, what do you mean by your observation? Okay, you know, somebody telling me they are not observe, observed. I mean that, I understood that uh, conscious observation. Okay, you know, normal observation we all done. I'm, I'm sure, I am, uh, I'm telling this uh, very, very, I'm sure that most of them observed it. Why not? Uh, while we seeing aquarium, we see what fish is doing very eagerly, right? Only that, uh, while purchasing fish uh, from the fish markets, I know some of you um, might go on with your relatives, uh, especially a father or others. Uh, you, you, you might go on uh, to the fish market and uh, you, you, you use some number of fishes, right? Huh? Otherwise, fishman came to your place. Uh, you have seen number of fishes with him uh, he's, um, in his vehicle, right? Okay, then other chance you can see uh, while your mother doing the job with the fish, while cutting and making cooking at that time. You know, some parts are leaving from the fish, right? For the e eatable parts and non-eatable parts are there. So, so that's everything you know, I am sure. But even if we eat, we don't know something. Yeah, I'm sure. So the time for video observation, fish. So what uh, you have to observe that, I'm giving you some hints, okay. First of all, uh, the fish body shape, okay, body shape. Then second one, fish movements, okay. How it is moving and uh, how it is body shape and what other features, peculiarities you are seeing? Okay, not very deeply you don't go. The basic things you have to say. Okay, so this is the first thing, uh, observation, this video and try to write. have extremities in the form of fins, as you can see in this image. Dorsal fins, caudal fins, which is the tail, pectoral fins, pelvic fins, and anal fin. Another really important fact that one must remember is that almost all fish are covered in scales. The gills are the fish's respiratory organ. The respiration process is very interesting. Water enters through the mouth and goes to the gills. The gills then collect the oxygen and distribute it to the rest of the body through the blood vessels. Then the water is expelled through an opening which can be found in the majority of the fish behind their head, which is called the gill flap. Fish reproduce by laying eggs, therefore they are oviparous and their fertilization can be either external or internal. Some fish are excellent fathers, like this one who protects his babies inside his mouth. He looks as if he's going to eat them, but he's actually protecting them. Look at that! Isn't it amazing? Hey, dear children, can you draw a beautiful, colorful fish now? Good. No? Okay, if you don't know, I will help you. Let's see how to draw simply. Um, try yourself. Um, you can draw your own uh, picture or uh, do the same like this. Okay. Uh, here 
you can see a yeah, goldfish we are going to draw a goldfish so watch it and uh, this is one of your assignment today home assignment first one is what you want to do that you have to draw a colorful fish okay you can draw this this same you can draw otherwise you can draw your own better than this okay um then after this drawing you have to write what you observed today okay what you observed while the video so the two things mainly you have to focus today okay so this two home assignment i said now so don't remember it and watch this each steps correctly how to color how to draw each parts now giving yellow colors you can give any other colors not a matter but you have to understand which is the um, most uh, most useful or most uh, natural colors okay uh, try to draw a gold fish um, you know fancy fish like okay see then look at the fish uh, the body parts hmm so i hope who those are drawing their self their own picture they have to draw uh, the major body parts okay so guys here we are going to finish our goldfish so we need a other thing what it is yeah that is water why need water there just to think okay so this is over how it is just to comment it okay today's home assignment first one is draw a colorful fish second one is write an observation note about fish basic adaptations what we discussed already okay observed what we observed already this is the first time i am teaching um lp students through uh, youtube link this i don't know how how much you you understood this uh, this is a fourth standard students so Uh, i really i like to teach uh, through the current classroom every teachers are like that but the situations you know the pandemic situation we know that so everyone should be safe uh, at your home and uh, learn from your home um, try to grow yourself try to understand try to learn try to think try to do yourself and uh, make it a quality time okay i re i remind you today's assignment first one is you have to draw a wonderful fish um, and uh, its body parts what you know okay then second one uh, what you observed by seeing uh, the video you already seen or you already observed i know that but a today's class what you got special okay what you strike something you i i am sure that you strike something right so what the things and all i also given you some hints so related with that also you have to write the comments in comment box i am eagerly waiting for your comments and also you can suggest what you expect okay if there any suggestions also you can write down on the comment box so i i ex accept all comments from my heart thank you thanks a lot all of you bye